Um, so yeah, I give him the wrong Paul. I, it's a little bit of a hard time, but again, you know, it's just tough love. You guys have more potential than than most of uh, most of us when we get into uh, political esoterica. Tat. Um. You know, it's not like I'm out here going, you people that love Ayn Rand. Well, I do, I. But it's not the same kind of disappointment, is it? Because there's a lot of people that really ought to be liberal populists. And this is just, this is all they know about it. So they're just kind of stuck thinking it's Mr. Paul or the establishment. But here's the thing, okay? He, he does come from the right... He named his kid after Ayn Rand, you guys. Right? And she has this a crazy... I mean, what is so... Like, yeah, we find out these cynical truths about the world, and people take advantage of other people, and uh, it's a big surprise, I guess. And, um... What? How do you picture that? Okay, the governments have done lots of wrong things, so they're gone. And how are you thinking that the powerful businessmen, I'm not saying they're going to do wrong things, they do good and bad things, just both examples, but if you just leave it to them, how are you going to have any security in your rights? Because the government violate your rights, and people violate your rights, and it goes all, you know, just strange, random criminals can violate rights. The thing about the government is not that it never violates rights, it's that you have some redress against it. Right? You get to have a say, you're in that organization. Like, I'm okay living in privatopia, theoretically, hypothetically, it's a thought experiment. experiment. If we, uh, you know, if I'm part of that organization, I want to own the a, a piece of the organization that does my vital infrastructure, right? I want the, the I want the water to keep flowing constantly for decades and decades and decades. I don't have a year to go rearrange my water rights or have to do that often. Or I want that secured. This is not a short term. Maybe I want another phone plan. This is like. I know it's predictable I'm going to need water, so having a, some sort of shared infrastructure that keeps providing me with water is sort of a necessity. And I don't understand why people think that if they own what they own now, say nothing, how they think that, the, that that's just going to, you know, and, and, and I do know why. Uh, Ron Paul thinks that. Now, Ron Paul is definitely better than your average objectivist because, for example, he figured out how much of the moochers are in Washington, right? But Ayn Rand said the same thing. And this is really what it's getting down to is the Ayn Rand framing. It's a very simplistic thing, you know. There's the doers and the moochers. And, um, that's that, you know, and, and he has that view, and there's just so many people that are all, you know, they're, they're supporting him because of this, uh, civil libertarian and stuff like this, but the thing is, I believe people really should have civil liberties, period. And the problem with the, uh, Randian approach is that she doesn't believe that. She doesn't think you necessarily should have civil liberties. You should have the um, civil liberties from a, a government. And if whatever liberties you have based on the deal you can uh, make with the people that have the employment, you know, that's fitting. There is no judgment on that side of the thing. Um... And the other thing is people just, uh, you know, the, the YouTube is having an interesting effect on, on some of these things because, like, now, for example, libertarians have gotten into uh, YouTube ones 
that it's a non-aggression principle is the fundamental thing. Okay. Yeah, and that's what they need to deal with is that um, how are you going to get people in it? People aren't non-aggressive. A lot of them are. That's why, you know, I think a majority of people are like, yeah, let's enforce a non-aggression principle. But it doesn't take many to screw that up. It doesn't take a lot of aggressive people to screw that up. But, um, but I find that interesting. I mean, it didn't used to be that they, they put them in those turn terms. I think we're trying to maximize um, civil liberty, basically, um, where this maximization, of course, is going to have to be an optimization because there's if this goes too high. This is, you know, there's some amount of compromise that we could calculate that people need to make between each other. And I think with uh, a libertarianism, as I see it, it, it has to do with liberty actual liberty right and, and so just being in the state of nature like free in the jungle on your own with no rules that's that's less freedom than if I can move a thousand miles away so a car has an impact on my liberty um, and uh, I, I just want that um, this fandom of Ron Paul needs to be uh, where's it going to go now? Into Rand? Paul? You know, it's not enough if, if you talk against things it doesn't mean you're for this it's just like with this atheist thing all the, the atheists thought well, we're talking against God so we must be all on the same side it's like but we're against the Fed we must be all on the same side it looks like that's Ron Paul's side there's a lot of other more specific judgments of what's going on, right? And, uh, you know, don't be fooled just by a little bit of honesty. you know, got to take what the plan is, too. People say, you just want to destroy those things. You're just saying that's the only way you can have roads. And I'm saying that's the way we got the roads. That's the way the most educated nations are educated is by the state education, making sure it happens. Yeah. And they have good private schools, too. When you have a good state, public education, guess what? It's a good private schools pop up. It's, it's a good thing. He wants to destroy the Department of it, but you're, but you're just saying people wouldn't educate good on their own. It's like he wants to tear down the bridges. He doesn't want there to be a bridge. He does not want there to be a bridge there. Another bridge will grow up there. Well... More of an engineer than that. I, I'm a little more studying into how those things come about. So that's not enough. Yeah, we want those things. How are they going to happen? On their own. They, they happened on their own the first time. Yeah. Some of us are planning those things. So, yeah, it's, it's a naive thing. Just You just got to... Just look more at the... But the world is just a simple way out, just being a polite. It's dangerous. I mean, people that are really pretty progressive, you guys could get wrapped up in some sort of fascist revolution and not even know it. Scary.